Today we're heading out to a map that we haven't been to in quite a while. This is going to be Parque Fernando and we're going to be trying out some things that are going to be pretty interesting. Well, we got a decent stag out there. It's about 350. We're going to bust out the 7mm and just in the nick of time before it gets behind that hill. Which it just did. But I do believe it should come out the other side. Oh, hold up. What do we got going on here? Got a 5 medium right there. There's still some more coming out as well. Yep, there he is. 280 yards out. First shot with a 7mm on a good stag. There we go. Awesome shot, and he's going down right there. All right. That was quite impressive. 300 yards on the walk, like it wasn't even there. Well, we also got a 5 medium out there as well, and... Ooh... He bolted right at the last second. But we may get a follow-up shot. We did. No! Unbelievable shot we just pulled off. Unbelievable. Nonetheless, here's our big level 6 stag that we took with a 7mm. And our shot was 339 yards on the walk. Ended up getting a left lung, liver, and stomach shot. All right, now the moment of truth comes when we go over here and find out where we hit this stag when we pulled off that incredible shot at almost 350 yards running straight away from us. I believe it was right over here. Yep, right over here. And there's the hill. And there is the shot. Look at that. Truly magnificent, unbelievable shot that we pulled off right there. Like, I don't think you guys understand just how ridiculous that shot really was. And there he lays. There he lays right over here. And let's take a look. That shot was 430 yards. 430 yards and we put that thing right on the money that is why that shot was such an unbelievable shot because at that distance we're zeroed in for 320 i was holding for right about here to compensate for the lead and the drop and by the time the bullet got there it ended up catching right behind the front shoulder and made just an incredible phenomenal shot 430 yards wow is this seven millimeter accurate and also another reason of why that shot was such a spectacular shot is because he was running directly away from us that means we had to take a chance he was either going to cut right or cut left he's not going to go straight so we took the chance and we hoped he was going to cut right so I held right, and as we took that shot, that's right when he turned right into that bullet. And it ended up connecting perfectly. All right, guys, we got another decent stag out there. This one's about 415 yards. Now, he's perfectly broadside, but we're going to find out how much drop we're actually going to have here. Basically, we're going to zoom in for 320. And we're going to hold it just above the heart and see what happens. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We absolutely smoked that thing. He's going down. That shot was over 415 yards. And we didn't even have to hold high at all. Now, with a 338, we'd have to hold definitely above the spine. Well, we've been. Oh, what do we jump up? Oh, there's another good stag. Not that impressive. I think we'll actually hold off on him for now. But we've been running for about 15 minutes now, trying to get all the way around to the backside of this lake here to catch up to our stag that we already got. And we still have about 200 yards to go. That's how far away this stag was. What I'm hoping for is that our big seven decides to work his way back in by the time we get over there and we get eyes on him. All right, well, let's take a look and find out how far that shot was on our stag. 
I marked him over here, so he should be piled up. Yep, there he is right there. Oh, there's more, there's more, there's more. Holy, look at the size of that one. That's a giant mythical. Definitely not a five, I'll tell you that. Come on, give me a spotting. Oh my God, yeah, it's a huge, huge mythical. He's quartering away at about 215. It's actually quartered a little bit too much for a shot, but that's okay. Because along the way, we're going to pick up this stag and try and get more squared for a shot on that massive, massive mythical. But there you have it, guys. 411 yards. And we hardly had any drop. That is totally unbelievable. 411 yards. We were holding for right here. And we only dropped about three inches. That's it. Three inches. All right, now let's try and get set up on this massive mythical. He is right there. And we're just about to have an opportunity for a shot. He's still kind of walking directly away from us, but that is a quartering away shot. All we got to do now is pop out from behind this tree. And that's our shot right there. Just got to get out of this grass. Because that grass could definitely cause a problem. All right, there we go. There we go. 200 yards. That is not a shot I'm comfortable with. Although it would be kind of cool to find out what it would do on a Texas heart shot. I just don't want to do it to a stag of that caliber. Because man, is that impressive. So we'll see if we can't get him to turn a little bit more. Just one more time. And I think we actually just might be able to get a shot from right here. Yeah. We're going for it. Shot's going to be 150 yards out right there. And this thing is so accurate that you know that was money. And it was because he's going down right there. Beautiful stag just piled right up. Man, that was awesome. All right, so what I'm hoping for now is that we look back over here and get eyes on that big seven again. Because he might show back up. Uh, those are axis deer. Oh my God, there he is. There he is right there. Is there two sevens? Oh, there is two sevens. Two very, very impressive sevens out there. About 250 yards out. Now, we're not going to have any drop because we have the 7 Momir. Remember that. No drop at all. But, oh, there we go. Broadside, broadside, 250 yards. Wait for him to stop. Wait for him to stop. Woo! Well, that first one was money. The second one, I think we got him a little bit too far forward, guys. Just a touch. And I tried to put a follow-up into him as well, but it didn't quite connect. Nonetheless, we got our big seven down. We definitely got the biggest one down. All right, how far was that shot? 260. Yeah, we really shouldn't have had hardly any drop. In fact, let's just see something once here. Well, not really going to be able to tell like that, but we got one. So that's all that matters. I know we definitely hit the other stag as well, and actually that hunting pressure might be level two. Kind of difficult to tell. 
So we'll mark him there. All right, well, we took our shot right about here. I believe he was right up on top of this ridge here. I don't see blood just yet, but I know he definitely ran over here. And there he gets piled up right there. Beautiful, beautiful mythical. But what you got to realize is that he was angled so much. So we really want to find out how we did on that shot placement there. But take a look at this impressive, impressive stag. It's going to be a 215 gold and our shot was perfect. 190 yards quartering directly away from us. We only had about a four inch wide pocket to hit. Yeah, it might have been a little bit taller, but with, I mean, we pretty much centered it beautifully. Not much else we could have done from that shot with that angle that we had to work with there, except for hit a tad bit lower and potentially catch heart. But nonetheless, that is quite impressive penetration with the seven millimeter. Very, very impressive. And a beautiful stag. Look at that. Whoa, look what we got over here, guys. Looks like we have either two decent sixes or a six and a seven. Yeah, that's a six. Now this one here, I don't know if we're going to be able to spot before he takes off. That should be a seven though. All right. So basically what's probably going to happen is we're going to kick him up. But when we do, we're going to take him down with the seven millimeter on the run. And I'm going to try and throw on a different scope here. I'm thinking maybe throw on the red dot. All right. Well, here we go. Let's see what happens. Which way is he going to go? And he's going to come perfectly. Right past us. And we're going to smoke him. As well as the six. Well, the six is hit. Not that good, though. Nonetheless, that worked out so beautifully because look at what's laying right here. Our impressive stag. Our beautiful level seven. And he's going to score 185. Made an incredible double lung shot on the trot. Open sights with the seven millimeter at 59 yards. Absolutely perfect shot placement right there. Well, now comes the ultimate test. And the test is going to be, are we going to be able to get a vital hit? with a seven millimeter on a water buffalo. Here we go. We got one out there at about 280 yards out. I wonder if he's going to slow down there or what he's going to do. Oh, he's going to turn around, isn't he? Well, that's not going to be a shot. Oh, but that is. Oh, that's going to be a shot. Oh boy. I am so curious if we're going to get penetration from that. I don't believe we are, in fact. Wait, 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 we are. He's going down. Oh my God, he's going down. He is going down 25% health. That means we did in fact get a single lung because we shot two more times after that and we never actually connected. We know for sure we did in fact get a lung. And we're about to find out how good it does. Up close. Woo. Rolled her right over. Perfect hard shot, 13 yards out. Good, good shot there. Decent penetration as well. And we got more, we got more. Oh, another six. Uh, I don't know if we hit that one or not. Boy, it looked good. But we must have hit a tree or something. Look at the size of that buffalo. His body's massive. Okay, now that shot should be liver. And I'm actually glad we hit that one kind of far back. Because I do want to see, in fact, how long it will take to take it down with the liver or potentially even intestine shot. It's for sure intestine. 100% intestine, but maybe liver. And where do all these buffalo keep coming from here? All I know is there's just buffalo everywhere right now. I just saw a six there, right there. We also only have nine bullets left. 
Where's the six? Oh, that's 300, 300 yards. Almost went through that tree. That's a four. Where's the six? There's a six. Come on, give me one shot. He cut back. Oh, that shot was money. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Last bullet right there. All right, let's get over there and go see how we did. Not only that, we only have eight bullets left in our name. <laughs> so we're officially done hunting the water buffalo, at least with the seven millimeter. More blood there. And we got our first water buffalo down with a seven millimeter bolt action rifle right here. All right, let's see how it did. So that shot was 278 yards and we got him in the liver and stomach. I mean, nonetheless, that is quite the impressive amount of penetration to hit him that far back. Like you're talking basically front of the hind quarter, get intestine, penetrate through all the way into liver and get that vital organ. I mean, for a seven millimeter on the water buffalo. Yeah, in fact, we got one piled up right in front of us here. Not only that, we got another one right here that looks like it's trying to, actually there's a couple of them. We're gonna go for a headshot with the 338 Magnum here. Did we get it or did that thing just stop? Oh, we got it that time. And there was another one, but I think he might have taken off. All right, nonetheless, here's our buffalo down right here. Let's take a look. So that was a three. And ended up getting a right lung shot at 343 yards. Look at that penetration. Not just barely touched it. You're talking all the way through that first lung and on the way towards the second lung. Quartering away. Granted, it was a perfect shot, but that is an amazing amount of penetration for a seven millimeter and a water buffalo. I'd really like to finish off this hunt with taking down at least a decent size seven. And we got a good one out there at about 400 yards. Holy, what do we got over here? Oh my God, that's a nine legendary. That's a freaking giant. I don't even know what to say right now because it's been just the toughest time for us to find even a decent seven. I mean, I was looking over here and the biggest one that we saw was a six and it wasn't even a very impressive six. Then we looked over here and saw that seven and I was pretty happy about that. But this thing is unbelievable. Look at that. Holy. Well, you want to talk about a heck of an opportunity for a shot? That's one right there. 400 yards. We're going to be going for the shot with the 338. Bolt action rifle. Here we go. This is going to be unbelievable, you guys. Everything has to be perfect for this shot to count. And that shot couldn't have been any more perfect than that right there. We got him, baby. <laughs> 400 yards on a giant dive potential water buffalo and he's going down never in a million years would i even think of trying to do that with the 300 magnum or the seven millimeter for that matter not because he couldn't make that shot accurately i'm sure it probably is obviously going to hit a lot more accurately at that distance but I doubt you're going to get the penetration that you need to get a vital hit. Holy, what a shot. Uh, yeah, it was pretty much right there. 415 yards. That's exactly how far that shot was. All right, now we just got to get there safely. And that is not going to be a safe route. So we're going to go this way, I believe. Yep. No! Run, 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 run! Give 
Give me a headshot. Come on. Okay, I think we're safe. I thought I spotted him again after that, but apparently not. And we weren't even on the track. I must have spotted something else. What did I spot? All I know is we got more blood here. Already down to 50% health, which is absolutely amazing. Considering we only went maybe 20 yards. 50% health. More good blood there. Looks like he ran right through this thick brush. But we know the direction he went. And there he lays, you guys. There he lays. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at what's laying right here. Not gonna get a picture. But that is a massive buffalo. He's gonna be a diamond! 172.64 diamond water buffalo. And we took him at 400 yards. Oh, wow, what a great, great shot. Great, great shot. Absolutely perfect lung shot there. Ideally, I would like to bend a little bit lower, you know, like around here, because you probably get more penetration, but that's decent. I mean, we went almost all the way through that first lung there and even if you get you know a quarter of the way into it you're gonna get a lung shot so that's that's a clean clean lung shot there 415 yards on a 2600 pound animal wow look at the size of the horns on that thing all right so now we're gonna take a look and find out what minimum diamond is 167 is minimum for diamond. So basically that's what I thought. I thought it was like 168. And the minimum uh, estimate on this thing was 165. So I knew he was pretty much guaranteed diamond, but he weighed 2,679 pounds. So yeah, that's probably gonna be our biggest diamond uh, water buffalo that we've gotten in a long time. It's gonna be crazy expensive 9,000 cash. But he's so big that we can't not get him out it. And plus, he's our first massive water buffalo with a new 338 bolt action rifle. That was one epic way to end this video. Holy, what an incredible journey this has been. Anyways, on that, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.